out into Central Africa as far as the Victoria Falls. They're a specialist unit employed for their skills in picking up the spoor or tracks of insurgents in this rugged bush country. Oh. It's the war in Namibia which provides the insight into Pretoria's current strategic thinking. For this is not simply an act of containment, another dirty bush war. Rather, the result of a carefully researched and formulated counter-revolutionary policy, which aims to render Namibia not only militarily safe, but politically safe as well. In other words, the creation of the ultimate buffer state. The strategy, formulated here at Defence Headquarters in Pretoria, sets out a complete military and civil response to what's perceived as the revolutionary threat. The core of the policy is that a campaign of subversion, represented by SWAPO in the case of Namibia, can be countered by adopting the enemy's own revolutionary principles and tactics, and by turning them in the opposite direction. In a way, it's an extension of the traditional Hearts and Minds campaign, though more finely tuned and commanding vast amounts of resources. The aim, to defeat the enemy on his own battleground using his own weapons. On the military level, this means, firstly, recovering areas previously controlled or used for forward bases by the insurgents. In this case, the northern border region, which is now largely free of sustained SWAPO campaigns. According to the strategy, the area must gradually be consolidated, defence units must play a highly visible role to be seen making the area safe for the local population.